this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I have another scrapbooking kit that I received from Danielle at scrapbookmaven.com. So I'm going to share with you what is inside the kit. This kit uses the new Prima Coffee Break paper collection. And I do know that Danielle said she has a very limited supply of kits. Um, so if you really want this paper and this kit, I suggest you head on over to her website right away. The paper is adorable. So what you get, we'll look at the papers first, is you get 12 sheets of 12 by 12, two of each of the six designs. So you have this one. And this is the reverse. Cups. And this is the reverse of that one. Typewriter keys. Collage of words. And this one. And love the rose print on the back of it. Very pretty. And again, some more coffee cups. And here's the reverse side of that one. And a newsprint, and on the back of the newsprint are some cut aparts, some 4x6s and 3x4s. So those are the papers you're going to get in the kit. And then you're also going to get a pack of these Prima Word tiles, and they'll spell out love, smile, and sweet. Those are really cute. And then you're going to get a package of ephemera. And in, I opened it already because I want to see what was inside. There's 48 pieces. So there's some twine and some sequins and a couple of little charms in here. There's It looks like a spoon and a teacup and a medallion. And then you've got some die cut pieces. There's a hand here, a teapot, some cups, some really cute ephemera that goes with it. Another spoon, super cute typewriter, a coffee pot some vintage roses and um, check this out these are really cute little glasses a journaling card some more vintage cards a little bingo card here again some more vintage images and another journaling spot and another vintage image and some more die cuts so again you're going to get the full pack of ephemera that comes with the coffee break paper collection and then you're going to get some miscellaneous um, embellishments here. These are really, really cute. You're going to get a piece of this trim. This medallion trim isn't this gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So there's actually six little doilies that are attached together. You're going to get that. And then you're going to get another piece of trim here. This is Prima trim. There's a full yard of this. Really pretty. And you're going to get some Prima, this one large Prima flower. And you're going to get some more Prima flowers here from the paper collection. So an assortment of those. And then you're going to get two of the coordinating typewriter key paper clips. These are really cute. So those are the embellishments that you're going to get. So that's what you're going to get in the kit, and the kit is going to retail for $29.99, and I'll have a link to her um, website, and again, she does have a limited amount of kits available. And then I'll come back and show you what I created using this kit. So this is the mini album that I created using the kit from uh, scrapbookmaven.com, and this was the Prima Coffee Break paper. And this is all of the paper that I have left. So I used every little bit. And I do have a few of the little, a couple of flowers left and a little bit of lace trim. And then I also have um, one section of the word tiles. I did make a small little tag with the few scraps that were left on the table. So on the front cover, what I have is some of the flowers I layered together. And then I used the tile words here and spelled out the word sweet quiet moments and then I went ahead and took the lace trim, the crochet trim that was in the kit 
and added it to the um, outside edge here along three sides. I did take my Tim Holtz Distress Stain in Antique Linen and kind of go over the top of it because it was it's white lace that you get. And then I added two of the little coffee cup and a little spoon right here. Um, I punched out a couple of leaves here with the Martha Stewart leaf punch. And then I cut apart the lace doily trim and put one of the medallions right here and added one of the little die cut images. And here is the back. So again, it's a chipboard cover, chipboard spine, and it opens like this. And on the inside front cover, um, as you can see right now, it sits nice and flat. I did have someone ask me about closures on my mini albums and... Um, I usually don't put a lot of closures on my mini albums and the reason why is probably I'm basically lazy and also if you go to the library how many books have a closure on them, right? None of them. So anyway, that's my excuse. On the inside front cover I layered some of the paper here. I made a little tiny pocket here, another one of the die cut images and these are some of the um, die cuts from that ephemera pack that you get with the kit that she sends you. So those go back in there. And I have made this mini album style before, and this is one that uh, everyone has requested a tutorial on. And yes, I am going to do a tutorial on this page construction. It's I promise. I really am. So it flips up like this, but you have a little tag here. And then I put some more of the ephemera in here. Cute little donut. And then a little rose here. And then I went ahead and glued this ephemera piece right here. And there is a photo mat right here. And then I love the cork paper. And there's also another photo mat right here where this pocket is. So this flips up like this. And then there's a place for a photo here. And I did leave this open here so you can tuck the photo behind. Again, another piece of the ephemera. And then I left this open and stuck a couple more pieces of the ephemera in here. I went ahead and put this on a little bit of dimensional tape. And there's a tag here. And there's also a tag back here paper is adorable. I do know that uh, Danielle from scrapbookmaven.com said she is very limited on the kits that she has. So if you want this kit, she and she can't reorder any more of the papers. Um, I don't know why, but she said she wasn't able to get any more. So if you want it, you need to order it quickly. It's a great deal. $29.99 for the kit. And then over here on the other side, again, it's the same kit page construction. I have a tag here. And then there's another tag here. And then this flips up like this. And you can put a picture here. And then I made the pocket right here. And there's another tag here. And then there's a larger tag back in this pocket right here. So there's only three page units in this mini album. But as you can see, you get a lot of real estate and a lot of pockets. So on the second page, again, they're all constructed the same. I did use solid cardstock to make the pages and then just matted the pages with the designer paper. There's a photo mat there. One of the little cut aparts from the paper collection. Another photo mat here. I inked around all the edges with antique linen distress ink. And another photo mat there. Again, I used my envelope punch board to make the notch. And you can put a photo here and I did just glue the little coffee cup down on one end so you can slide the photo underneath. Another piece of the ephemera here, another photo mat, and another pocket right here. And you flip it over on the back side. Again, small little photo mat here. I went ahead and glued this cute little piece of ephemera up there. Another photo mat here with some journaling lines on it. And then there's a larger tag here. So you do get a lot of room for photos in this style mini album. Again, the journaling spot right here. And another photo mat right here. And, oopsie, a large tag in this one. Love the cork paper. Journaling. And then the last page again, another little small tag, another small photo mat here, and another 
photo mat here. I'm gonna flip it up. And I love this little glasses here. I think those were darling. I just glued those down in another teapot here. And then I stuck another little piece of ephemera here. Another photo mat. And a larger photo mat right back here. And I did leave this one blank because I didn't have a big enough piece of paper. Oops. And on the last page, again, I have a little photo mat here, larger one here. This will fit a 3 by 4 photo, and a larger one here. And this one I went ahead and used some of the ephemera pieces on the back because I didn't have any more larger sizes of paper left, but I wanted to use it all. And again, another photo mat here, and a smaller pocket, and a photo mat here, and then the last one in here. Love the paper. And on the back inside cover I just left it plain. I went ahead and added some more of the little ephemera pack. There's a little finger here and then the words that spell relax and then that's the back. So that's the mini album that I created with the kit from Danielle and this is the Prima Coffee Break kit and she has limited quantities. Um, so if you do want one you need to go over to her website and I'll put a link to her website in the description box. And she's also debuting her own YouTube channel now and she's going to do a giveaway and she's going to give away a Prima Prize. So go ahead and make sure that you check out her website and there'll be a link I'm sure to her YouTube channel. And you can maybe win a fabulous Prima Prize. And then I did make a little tag here with some of the extra pieces that I had left over. The only thing that was not from the kit was this um, Graphic 45 keyhole plate here and then this ribbon and twine. But everything else is from leftovers. That was it. Another piece of the cute little lace trim and another doily and this flower. And then the um, tile words right here and then this little rose charm. I left it plain on the back. So there you go everybody. That's the Prima Coffee Break kit from scrapbookmaven.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.